AMC stock performing very nicely today. Guys, we closed almost 7% higher. People are showing more interest in AMC than they were before. And all of the volatility from early last week is fading out. And we've got more buyers coming in now. This is an excellent scenario for AMC stock moving forward. And guys, I'm going to be a little bit conservative here and say that if we can just get some steady upward action throughout the end of the year, we are going to be sitting ourselves up in a perfect spot for the AMC stock short squeeze potentially in 2022. Remember a couple months ago when it sounded crazy to say that AMC stock may not squeeze before the end of 2021? Well, uh, we're only what, like six weeks out now? And if anything drastic doesn't change, we're going to be here for a minute. So you guys might as well enjoy the ride and make money along the way. So in this video, let's talk about kind of some of the volatility that's dying down a little bit and why we're seeing more interest in AMC stock. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how to buy stocks yet, you can use the link in the description for Webull. Super simple to set up your account and a $100 deposit gets you two free stocks. And then if you're into cryptocurrency as well, any $1 trade in cryptocurrency is gonna get you at least $1 in free Shiba Inu coin, or $5 in free Shiba Inu coin, sorry. So check that out. Out if you're brand new to investing. Uh, but let's talk about AMC because we had a phenomenal day today, closing 7% higher. Yes, it's pulling back a little bit after hours right now, but that's expected kind of after a day like today when we had nothing but beautiful gains. Why though? Why? At the beginning of last week, we started off very well. Investors were anticipating a great earnings report from AMC Entertainment, and they got a great earnings report from AMC Entertainment, but the stock started to fall off. A couple reasons we may have seen that. Number one, this wedge that we are in, I don't care if you guys want to call it the, the, the pennant on the bull flag, if you want to call it just this wedge that we've been trading in for the last several months, but if you pull out your daily chart and you see the run up in June, since then we have been hitting lower highs and higher lows forming a beautiful wedge pattern and last week after Monday, after the earnings report, we hit the top of that wedge, and of course we pulled back from it. It proved to be a very strong level of resistance that the technical traders could not handle, so we did see a pullback from that. On the other side, fundamental traders, those that were investing because of earnings reports, may have also been pulling back as well. There are a lot of people who just do not want to take the associated risk of buying a stock during the earnings report, and it was no different for AMC. So that's exactly what we saw. We saw a combination of technical traders and fundamental traders both pulling out of AMC early to mid last week and uh, we, we fell off for the last couple of days. But we have been recovering nicely off the bottom end of that wedge. Those higher lows that we have been hitting forming an ascending trend line and we have been bouncing back and forth in between this wedge for months now. And I know it's taking a toll on a lot of people out there. I know it's dragging on and it's moving moving very slow and a lot of people want to see the breakout and they want to see it now but guys this is a battle okay the apes remain strong but there are retail investors there are day traders and there are institutional investors that are still following traditional investing guidelines and you know i say guidelines because nothing is guaranteed in the stock market but they're using this technical analysis almost to a t at this point. If you look at this graph on AMC stock, I would and, and don't, you know, don't shoot the messenger, right? But we are at the top of this wedge right now. If we do not pull back tomorrow and stay within that wedge, we could be seeing a bullish breakout. Now, the technical traders that are using this wedge will most likely shave their positions tomorrow and we will see a pullback. If not, that is, oh my gosh, that is excellent news because we do have a bullish breakout. And if we sustain that bullish breakout, it is going to be nothing but good news from here on out because we could be retesting the 50s and so on if we get that breakout with confirmation afterwards. But, you know, why does it happen? 
Why does why do traders do this? Why do they pull out of a stock when if they just held on the shorts would cover? Guys, it's simply because they don't believe in the same short thesis that we do. The shorts are out there. We know the short the short shares exist, but there's not the same amount of I, I don't know, conviction and optimism and excitement in their eyes. You can go almost anywhere other than YouTube. Like I just I'm going to use TikTok for example, okay? If you're scrolling through TikTok and you see some of the <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're in high school, but if you see some of the high school traders out there, the TikTok traders out there that are charting AMC stock and making day trading recommendations on it and so on. They don't talk about a short squeeze. They have no idea that there's a short squeeze going on in AMC stock. So, you know, we're inside looking out and we think that everybody knows what's going on, but there are still so many people on the outside looking in that have no idea how much potential AMC stock has. Share this video with them because I'm going to tell you right now, it has unlimited potential. AMC stock has no cap on how high it can go simply because if we hold the short shares and the hedge funds that shorted AMC go out and cover those short shares and we refuse to sell it back to them, it's not like they can just stop and, and say, okay, well, you know what? We're just going to wait a little longer. If they are, are, are required to cover these, these short shares, they have to offer you a higher price. They can't play the game any longer once the margin calls roll in. And I know it is painful waiting for those margin calls to roll in. But once they do, they can't play the waiting game any longer. It is over for them. And we win. So you are essentially already sitting on a winning hand. And they will offer you more and more and more money until they can buy those shares from you. The only thing that we have to do is make sure we do not give up before they give up. If we give up before they do, they win. If they give up before we do, we win. And I'm not talking about a 5% gain here. Guys, I am talking about why you got into AMC stock in the first place. For the life-changing money. So I want to see nothing but encouragement down in the comments below. Encourage everyone to hold AMC until they receive that life-changing money that they set out to get. This is not, this is not a game. Okay, I know I make it I, I make it sound like a game sometimes saying tug of war and it's just a, you know, you're holding out and we've already won and things like that. But this is real money. This is your future. Do yourself a favor and get in and get ready for the long haul because guys AMC has unlimited potential. Now, if that button's still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Make sure to use the links in the description below for Weeble, Binance, Gemini, all that good stuff. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.